Naga Naga, Naga Easy Hall. I'm back at it again with this question. Now, I just question this statement. Black people are multi genius by nature. So I'm about to say, why do you keep calling me? Why? A multi genius by nature. So now, why are you accepting this mantle? Well, it had a good thing. As if it's a good thing that you know how to inadequately think. It's not a good thing to say you can in, eat adequately thick if you was a genius or a multi-genius. But black people are multi-genius by nature, not genius by nature. One will become genius if they only dealt with nature. So it's not a hard thing to understand that if you were multi-genius by nature, if you dealt with nature, there could be no way that you could not be multi-genius by nature. And so anyone who deals with nature by default will be genius. But a one-time genius is not good enough. Black people are multi-genius by nature. Their body dictates and mandates that they are multi-genius by nature. So now, anyone dealing with the science of melanin, the study of melanin, understand that's a powerful force. Black people are the representation of melanin on this planet. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as anything universally potent or universally divine. So I got some other statements I need to put, put across your mind. Genius is one's mind to understand and control things. There's only one thing on this planet, you, I'm talking to you, whoever you are. There's only one thing on this planet that you are in control of. That's your body. So now, if you don't have control of your body, and I am not talking about no stupid conversation about slavery, dominion, this, that, and third. I am talking about the simple, physical, action of moving your body around. Alright? I'm talking about the simple physical action of doing whatever you want to do. I'm not talking about whether it hurts or not. Whether you don't want to do it no more because it's painful. The fact that the only thing that you are in control of is your body. So now, if you don't have control over your body, that means you're in a retarded state or suppression or slavery by that nature. You're a multi-genius by nature, which means you control your body. Your genius is testament on how you control your body. So now if you don't have control over your body, and what am I saying control over your body? Because you may think I'm saying the same thing over and over repetitiously. I am not. The ability of your mind is dictated by the ability of how you control your body. To be most hygienic means that you are the athlete that is most efficient, is most fantastically looking. That's why any black person or highly melanated person who wants to talk anything about intelligence if they themselves are not practicing some type of physical art, they are retarded. Sorry to tell you that. But without any physical practice, you are retarded by nature. Because your ability to think 
is also your ability to think how you should move your body. So your ability to move your body or your physical prowess is a testament of your mental prowess. So now your mental prowess is a reflection of your physical prowess. So one who has a strong mental should have a great body. Or they are retarded. Possibly a genius. You know, a lot of geniuses have got some fucked up bodies. I'm not talking about impressive. I'm just talking about scrawny, powerless. Physically, their body cannot benefit them in this world. They can move around, but your body was not designed for you to move around. Your body was designed for you to move around and do things to be master and lord over your dimension. something or you recorded something, your mind is a good recorder, and you gathered up a couple of equations so you can go forth and look like a genius, does not mean you are one. So I say again, your physical body is a representation of your intelligence. You know what I'm saying? Um, so now, this is a rough road when you think about the people that's walking around here with messed up bodies. We know point blank without any, no rebuttal. If you're having a hard time trying to walk because your legs are just that huge, you may be smart. But we're talking about multi-genius by nature. Not genius by nature, and damn near who gives a shit if you're smart by nature. We want multi-genius out here. So now, if you're big, if your gut's big, you deal with a level of inadequate mind thing. If your body is too long, all of these, all of these are expressions that are going to affect your ability to move your body. Now affect your ability to think on certain levels. Because your mind is working through your body. And if your mind has not broken down one simple equation that will shut up anybody who tries to argue this point. Time you move, you grunt. Understand, you're dealing with a body that's, that's not that's not a good. Right. How you doing, sister? Right. You're dealing with a body that's not in good working order. Now I'm not saying you got to be 100 percent, 100 percent across the board. And these times, everybody's dealing with a level of sickness. But I'm talking about a level of physical capability that everyone should have. If you're 40 years old. If you're 50 years old, if you're 60 years old, and you cannot 
maintain your body in a fashion that you did when you was in elementary school, understand you're dealing with a deep retardation. And you better believe that level of deep retardation has reached your mind. And some type of thinking, you think you're on point, you think you're vast and you're good to go. But if you come across somebody who is multi-genius by nature, and you're already complaining, and you think disrespecting someone is to say you think you're so smart, you think you're so smart, you're supposed to be a genius. That's a, that's a total disrespect. Oh, you think you're a genius? You're supposed to be multi-genius. So that's a total disrespect. You're not in right order, your body not in right order, and then that's why your brain is not in right order. And when you come around here and let you know what it is to start to invoke your evil, multi-genius thinking, yeah, you're going to feel real hard. And like I said, multi-genius does not come in a book. Just because you know how to read books does not mean you're multi-genius. Your body yet. Life long situation. 